Okay, let's start. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show, this afternoon, let us begin our show with our prayers. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. Let us pray the three o'clock prayer to the divine mercy. You died, Jesus, but the source of life flowed out for the souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, immeasurable divine mercy, cover the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which flowed out from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen. Jesus, King of mercy, I trust in you. Let us pray the prayer for the protection of hands in inclusion, Philippines. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion, Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQ community, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his court team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan and may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands in inclusion to the peace, to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. St. Clair of Montefalco, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. St. Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. St. Augustine, pray for us and our family and friends. St. Michael the Archangel, St. Benedict, Pope St. Pius X, and Pope St. John Paul II, Rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone, all organizations and all the people who formerly worked with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in the conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and answer the inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The, the wounds inflicted upon him due to COVID-19. This is this is the new case. Forget me, our life. Ang mga pananaw at opinyon ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to One Inclusion Live Weekend. Today is Saturday, November 20, 2021. I am Carlos Miguel Javeliana Kanahashi, and we're broadcasting simultaneously on Inclu Radio and on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. As we commence our show this afternoon, we would like to share with you our daily verse for today. From Psalm chapter 124, verse 8. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. We shall commence our presentation in just a moment, and we will be back after these commercials. Now this.
Welcome back to One Inclusion Live Weekend. Okay. This afternoon, we will discuss to you about parenting. Why do we need to discuss this today? Because today we are celebrating the World Children's Day or Children's Day. In relation to our topic this afternoon, we will discuss to you about parenting. So when we say parenting, ladies and gentlemen, what does this mean? What are the ways on how to improve parenting? So without further ado, here now is our topic for this afternoon, which is parenting. What is parenting, ladies and gentlemen? Well, first of all, parenting promotes and supports the physical, emotional, social, and intellectual development of a child from infancy to adulthood. Parenting refers to the intricacies of raising a child and not exclusively for a biological relationship. In layman's term, it focuses on the practices that nurture the development of children's core internal strengths. Rather than focusing on kids' weaknesses and deficits, positive parenting involves emphasis and loving attention on strengthening abilities that matter most to healthy development, like resilience, curiosity, and self-awareness. These practices, ladies and gentlemen, help children believe in themselves and their abilities to be successful in life and in their academics as well. The essence of parenting is that it is about working on yourself. People can influence others, especially children, and also to build your own character. What are the ways and how to show good parenting? To manage your anger, anger is one of the greatest blocks to forming meaningful human relationships. When adults act impulsively, yell at one another, or seek revenge, children follow suit. Consider your role in the problem. Show empathy to others and focus on the solution rather than culpability. Admit your mistakes. Children are growing up in a world with unrealistic demands for perfection. We should learn from our mistakes. 
do feedbacks, and be responsible for your actions and decisions as well. In order to accomplish your goals properly, you need to work hard, ladies and gentlemen. When adults set goals and persevere to achieve them despite obstacles, they model invaluable skills to their children. As appropriate for your child's age, don't be afraid to show kids how you are working to overcome challenges in your own life. Be hopeful and positive. Stay positive. Help kids focus on solutions rather than rescuing them from problems. How? Solving problems for children makes them dependent. Listen, encourage, and support. Praise children for their efforts instead of their intelligence. Showing courage, honesty, or caring for others is very important because they should let them know how you can appreciate those qualities about them. We should learn from our mistakes. Research shows that learning is enhanced when children make mistakes. Acknowledge that you don't expect your children to be perfect and let them know your love is unconditional, regardless of your mistakes or regardless if it's right or wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, helping them see their mistakes as learning opportunities rather than defeats is a key to positive parenting. In boosting your child's self-esteem, Kids start developing their sense of self as babies when they see themselves through the eyes of their parents. Your voice, body language, and your expression is absorbed. Your words and actions as a parent affect their developing self-esteem more than anything else. Praising accomplishments will make them feel proud. Letting kids do things independently will make them feel capable and strong. By contrast, Relating comments or comparing a child unfavorably with another will make kids feel worthless. Being good is very important. Have you ever stopped to think about how many times you react negatively to your kids in a given day? You may find yourself criticizing far more often than complimenting. How would you feel about a boss who treated you with that much negative guidance, even if it was well-intentioned? Meaning you should be good. How? You just do something right. Because ethics is knowing the difference of what is right and what is wrong. We need to encourage good behavior over the long run than repeated scoldings. Set limits and be consistent with your discipline. Why discipline is very important in every household, ladies and gentlemen. Well, first of all, the goal of discipline is to help kids choose good behaviors and to learn to control themselves. They need to test the limits you establish for them, but they need those limits to grow into responsible adults. Establishing house rules helps kids understand their expectations and to control themselves. Make time for your kids. It's often difficult for parents and kids to get together for a family meal. Yet alone spend quality time together. But there is probably nothing kids would like more. Get up 10 minutes earlier in the morning so you can eat breakfast with your child or leave the dishes in the sink and take a walk after dinner. Kids who aren't getting the attention they want from their parents often act out or misbehave because they're sure to be noticed that way. Many parents find it rewarding to schedule together time with their kids. Special night can be created or what we do is quality time. In other words, ladies and gentlemen, quality time or spending time with your family is very important as well. To be a good ro role model, ladies and gentlemen, you need to show respect, being a good friend, to be honest and truthful, to show kindness and tolerance. Young kids learn a lot about how to act by watching their parents. The younger they are, the more cues they take from you. Before you lash out or blow your top in front of your child, think about this. Is that how you want your child to behave when angry? Be aware that you're constantly being watched by your kids. Studies have shown that children who hit usually have a role model for aggression at home. Exhibit unselfish behavior. Do things for other people. Express things and offer compliments. And treat your kids the way you expect other people to treat you. Communication is a priority. We can't expect kids to do everything simply because as a parent, we say so. 
They want and deserve explanations as much as adults do. Kids will begin to wonder about their values and motives and whether they have any basis. Parents who reason with their kids allow them to understand and learn in a non-judgmental way. Make your expectations clear. There is a problem? Solve it. Describe it. Express your feelings and invite your child to work on a solution with you. Include consequences, make suggestions, and offer choices. Negotiate, be open to your suggestions, and decision-making as well. Be flexible and adjust in your life. If you often feel left down by your child's behavior, perhaps you have unrealistic expectations. It might be helpful to read up on the matter or to talk to other parents or child development specialists. Kids' environments have an effect on their behavior, so you might be able to change that behavior by changing the environment. If you find yourself constant, constantly saying no to your two-year-old child, look for ways to alter your surroundings so that fewer things are off-limits. Less frustration can be avoided. Show that your love is unconditional. You're responsible for correcting and guiding your kids. But how you express your corrective guidance makes all the difference in how a child receives it. When you have to comfort your child, avoid blaming, criticizing, or fault-finding, which undermines self-esteem and can lead to resentment. Strive to nurture and encourage even when discipline, disciplining your kids. They should know what, all, what although you want and expect better next time, your love is there no matter what. Know your own needs and limitations as a parent. Face it. You have strengths and weaknesses. Recognize your ability. Learn from your mistakes. Try to have realistic expectations for yourself. And to make parenting a manageable job. Because, well, ladies and gentlemen, focus on the areas that need the most attention rather than try to address everything. Admit it when you're burned out. Take time out from parenting and to do all things that will make you happy as a person. Parenting is the process of raising children and providing them with protection and care. And the purpose of this is to ensure their healthy development into the start of the adulthood era. The long-standing assumption that parents assert a direct and powerful influence on their children through the process of socialization has permitted research and theory on human development as well as most cultural belief systems. So in parenting, ladies and gentlemen, we learned about how can we manage good behavior to your child. And also, on know how to adjust yourself, including your child as well. And also, in parenting, discipline is very important. Without discipline, there is no success. What you achieve success in life is selected discipline. So, good parenting is very important. Why? Because this will help you or help the children to have a sense of control, to expect, to build your expectations, resilience building strategies, and the developmental age, and of course, discipline. And also, we need to show ways on how to improve the children's behavior as they prepare themselves for the adulthood era as well. That's why our parents need us for our safety and our protection as well. As we close our topic this afternoon, good parenting is an accumulation of actions and interactions that you have with your child. It is driven with purpose and end goals in mind. And that concludes our topic this afternoon. And now let us move on to some of our announcements.
For our announcements, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, we have some products for sale at the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop. We are selling our One Inclusion Nation t-shirts and the tote bags. For our t-shirts, is available in red, black, blue, white, and yellow. All sizes were 275 pesos. For our One Inclusion Nation tote bags, is available in white and black. Sizes range from medium to large and prices range from 150 to 200 pesos. So how can you pay, ladies and gentlemen? Well, first of all, we will be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. We're accepting payments from GCash on this QR code that I will show this to you in just a moment. And we will deliver your ordered products via GoGo Express and LBC. Just a reminder, Hansen Inclusion Philippines online shop is temporarily closed for areas under Alert Level 5, ECQ or Enhanced Community Quarantine and Modified Enhanced Community Quarantine areas. But it will continue to serve in areas under GCQ or General Community Quarantine, Modified General Community Quarantine, and of course, our Alert Levels 3, 2, and 1 as well. Its operating hours are from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. For a full list of orders, please visit the Hansen Inclusion Philippines Facebook page or email us at hansen.inclusion at gmail.com. Ladies and gentlemen, we at Hansen Inclusion needs your help. We have already been struggling with our financial problems, including us here in this organization. Regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. Please help us by donating Hansen Inclusion using GCash by scanning and donating on this QR code that is flashed on your screen. And also, you will use this on your payments in the online shop as well. And also, purchasing our products from the online shop as well. So, so ladies and gentlemen, what are you waiting for? Please, please, and please, please purchase our products from the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop and to donate to Hands in Inclusion Philippines as well. Please help Hands in Inclusion Philippines for our fundraising project. We're aiming to raise funds in our organization and let us have the time to rebuild in order for us to have a bigger, better, and a bolder Hands in Inclusion Philippines. So our purchases and the proceeds from the sales from the online shop and your donations will go to us in Hands in Inclusion for the formality, for the expenses, and of course, to recover our finances due to the effects of this trying time as well. And guys, for those who did this, we'll be glad you did. And for those who did this, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to our organization. And also, apart from your patience and understanding, aside from your help, we also need for your prayers, regardless of your faith, for the anticipated return of Hands in Inclusion Philippines in the future as a formal group, and expect a fresh new start in our organization. We have some remaining events coming up for the month of November in Best Buddies, Philippines. Later at 4 p.m., right after this program, We'll be having our countdown to Christmas on our Best Buddies Philippines Saturday series of learning. It will be hosted by Lindsay Loud and Javi Alabanza. We'll be making Chris, uh, decorate cupcakes and we'll also sing Christmas songs as well. And also next week, we'll be next Saturday at 4 p.m. will be our Friendsgiving karaoke. So for those who want to join for the 27th, follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram. Send them a message and the registration form and link will be sent to you. Here in Best Buddies Philippines, make a friend, be a friend. Hiraya Gallery and Special Achievers present to you projects sold out. 15 out of 76 works are sold. In partnership with Atenea Special Education Society, Autism Strong Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, College of Rehabilitation Sciences Student Council, Anthony Inclusion, Little Hands Disco with UNICEF, Philippine Academy of Occupational Therapists, Society of Occupational Therapy Majors, the ABLE Center, Tugon Ateneo, the University of the Philippines Collegiate Association of Speech Pathologists, and You Belong PH. 76 
So out of 76 works that are sold, 17 out of 76 works are sold. So if you want to check this out, please check Special Achievers Facebook page for some of the details regarding this event. Boundless Possibilities Foundation will have a virtual musical entitled Pana Panahon, a love that grows with the passing of time. This is a virtual musical by diverse ability performers and their families with Noel Cabangon and Candy Pangilinan. So the event will be done on Sunday, December 5, 2021 at 7.30 in the evening on the Boundless Possibilities Facebook page. So for those who want to check this out and watch them, it will be done on Sunday, December 5, on the Boundless Possibilities Facebook page. Well, if you're feeling hungry, ladies and gentlemen, you may order some foods from Sobra Comfort Food Restaurant. So our menu are, for the all-day breakfast, Tapa Sobra, Chicken Tocino, Homemade Spam, Corned Beef Brisket, and Rib Eye Salpicao. Prices range from 265 pesos to 275 pesos. For our rice trays, we have Beef Bulgogi, Beef Gyudon, Shawarma, Boneless Fried Chicken, Pork Crackling Bits, Charred Chicken, and Pork Belly Burnt Ends. Prices range from 265 pesos to 1,700 pesos. For our buns, our fried chicken sandwiches, corned beef sandwich, chicken tocino sandwich, and pulled pro sandwich. Prices range from 320 pesos to 390 pesos. And for our pasta, we have mac and cheese and penne and gorgonzola. Both of them are priced at 290 pesos. So how can you order? Head over to the Sobra Comfort Food website. You may order the dishes you want. Choose between pickup or delivery. Pay conveniently through any of the safe integrated payment methods and your order is confirmed. Expect updates via text or your email. Lastly, follow Hands in English in Philippines on our social media pages and its digital platforms as well. It will be appreciated for you guys to do this as early as now. Follow us on Facebook, Hands in English and PH, Inclo Radio, Inclo Sports, Inclo Mihan, and the online shop, Instagram, Hands in English and PH. Kumu, HNI Philippines, and subscribe to the Hansen Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. So guys, for those who did this, thank you for your continuous support to our organization. Coming up later on Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion, we will discuss to you about Children's Day. And why do we need to celebrate Children's Day, ladies and gentlemen? Find out on this topic later on Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion at 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. the year tonight with me, yours truly, Carlos Kanahashi, Christian Chan, and Asher Santos. Only here on Inclo Radio and it will be premiered on the next day on the Hansen Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. Also... For our birthday celebrants today, we like to greet happy birthday to the following. For our birthday celebrants, we like to greet happy birthday to the following. To my friends in Benil, Jason Maghakot, Richmond Kaluza, and Joseph Tajonera. Or Joseph O. Tajonera. Happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. To those who are celebrating their anniversaries, happy anniversary as well. And also, I would like to say good afternoon and thank you to the following. To my family, good afternoon. Hi! To Hands in Inclusion Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, Best Buddies Benil, and other PWD organizations, thank you very much as well. And also to my high school and college friends, good afternoon as well. And to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. I hope you guys are in a good mood, but if not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. So those who are watching us on Inclo Radio, thank you very much as well. And if you missed this episode, it will be premiered on the next day on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel.
for your viewing pleasure. As we wrap up our show this afternoon, I would like to share with you our code for the day. Our code for the day from Lady Bird Johnson. Encourage and support your kids because children are apt to live up to what you believe of them. And also, as we have learned about our topic this afternoon, we discuss about parenting. That's why we need parenting in order for us, for our parents to protect us and also our safety as well in order for us to prepare for us for the adulthood era, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that's a wrap for our One Inclusion Live weekend for Saturday, November 20, 2021. Guys, Guys, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget that tomorrow is Sunday. As Hands in Inclusion Philippines continue to put God first regardless of our faith, we remind that day as a, as a day of rest and faith. So let us be courteous or we need to show courtesy to those people who are resting and also to attend religious services, whether face-to-face -face or online. And your silence is highly appreciated as well. On behalf of Inclo Radio and Hansen Inclusion Philippines, I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, saying may the mighty God bless us all. Magpalain na watayo ng poong ni Kapal. May bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H&I, God first. Thank you very much for watching. Have a blessed afternoon to all. And I'll see you again later. And we'll be back later tonight at 8 o'clock in the evening. For our Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion show. Bye for now. Bye bye.